hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are still going to use um, a digital elevation model we are going to show you how to determine the height above um, flood level so we are going to use the digital elevation model we have here to um, demonstrate that process so we have um, a few notes the height above flood level is a calculation used to determine how much higher a specific area is compared to a defined flood level so maybe if there's any flooding in that particular area and then the flood level gets to a particular height we are now trying to use the um, elevation values that we have in our digital elevation model to compare with that um, the height of the flood level to know areas that are above the flood level and areas that are below the flood level and then areas that are on the same um, height as the flood level so this can now subsequently help you in a um, flood risk um, assessment infrastructure and land use planning and then uh, some other disaster management planning right good so for us to be able to do that to calculate the height above flood level we need them um, the digital elevation model and then what the flood um, level that's the height the flood water gets to maybe when um, it floods right good so we have our digital elevation model and then we are we are going to use them um, three as the what as the as a flood level because looking at our range of elevations we can see that we have it from minus one um, up to 96 right good so we want to believe that um, the values that are closer to minus one are very low right good they are maybe close to the water or river or whatever we have so we can even bring in a base map good so we have our osm here and then by looking at it you can see that there's a water body which is the calabar river right good so when we are done you are going to see that um there will be a classification whereby we have positive values and negative values or maybe zero values and then we are now going to give them different color codes right good so now let's get back to our qgis the first thing is that we want to use the raster calculator so we come to raster we get to the raster calculator and then we have told you that we want to use what three as a word the flood level right good so we are saying that whatever value that is above three maybe very far above three is safe and then the value that are below three or maybe very close to three are moderately safe and maybe at a very high risk right good so we have um, the digital elevation model here yeah? and then we now say minus three so this expression is very important because it is what similitude of what we have here the height above flood level equal to your digital elevation model minus what the flood level so what it will do is that it is going to subtract three from all of the what the raster values that we have here and then we are now going to have a new raster that will now contain if we are going to use the upper and the lower value we are now going to have what 96 minus three which will be 93 and then minus one minus three which will be what minus four right good so we are now going to have 93 and minus four to be the two values that would be displayed or would be outputted in our new world digital elevation model so we come to the output layer so let's call this height above flood level right good so we save we leave every other parameter as default as it is and we click on OK. Good. So you now see we have 93 and then minus 4. Right. Good. So what our note has told us is that we are going to have positive values, which we have. We have them um, from 96, from 93 rather, to maybe 1 those are positive values but you know that one is closer to minus four than it is closer to what to 93 so you know that from one two down to 10 or maybe 15 are closer to what to zero right good than they are to what to 93 so we now have that from the result we have the um, positive values which is areas above the flood level that they are safe and then zero or negative value which is areas at or below the flood level they are flood prone right good now let us come to the class we have four classes we are going to classify this our digital elevation model into four classes and then we are now going to give it different color codes now those color codes will now help us identify the 
areas that um, are having high risk of flood, moderate risk, low risk, and then the safe areas, right? Good. So we are going to use red, orange, yellow, and then light green to represent those different classes. So we come back to our QGIS, we come back to the digital elevation model. Then for the classification, we use a um, single band pseudo color. We use them um, equal intervals. And then we make this um, four classes, right? Good. So since we have made it four classes, let's also make the precision to be zero so that we have them um, some whole numbers, right? Good. So we are saying that those values that are having high risk, that's the negative values, what's the color? We are going to give it red, right? Good. So the reason why I have the X code here, it's to help me identify what the colors easily so that we don't start them. Um, Searching for the colors. So this value represents what the first class, right? Good. So we double click and then on the HTML notation, we paste the X code we have there. Then we click on OK. You now see that we have red, right? Good. So we come back for the second class. We said we are going to use orange. So let's also copy the X code. So using X code is actually important if you want to be precise with the colors that you would need for maybe your presentation, right? Good. So we have copied that of the second class. We still come back to QGIS. We paste it there. Okay. Then for the third class, what do we have? We have a um, bright yellow, right? Good. So we still highlight and then copy. We still come back to where we are coming from and then we paste it there. We click on OK. Then finally, the safe region, we are now giving it what um, light green, right? Good. With this code. So we still highlight, copy and then we paste right good so we have given it the colors of choice you see that they are a bit distinct we have red we have the orange the light yellow and then the green right good that now helps us to know the areas that are having higher risk moderate low and then maybe safe region right good so we click on apply and then we say okay so we now have what a new digital elevation model which we have reclassified the the values of our elevation to depict what the different um, terrain characteristics as regards as regards how prone the area is to what to flood using what this um our class so using these our classes so we have the very low which is um from around maybe minus four up to maybe 10 or maybe thereabout those places are having what very high risk then we have what the class two which is the moderate risk we use orange then the class three which is um low risk we use yellow and then the safe area we now use what green so if you look at um the base map you are going to see that um there's a water body around here let's also take this out there's a water body around there which is what this um calabar river right good so now along this calabar river when it floods we are now trying to assume because the flood level we use was an assumed value we're not trying to assume that when it floods these areas are having what high risk of flood and then these areas are moderate and then when you now move inwards a bit you now see that they are safe right good because this is around maybe the 90 something so if we use the identify tool we are now going to see this is around 74 this is 79 but if we come to this point we are going to see four which is closer to what to minus four right good so if we come to this point we still see four maybe if we come down we see zero which is what's still closer to minus four so if we now move towards the yellowish or maybe the orange and color we see 56 those places are having what lower risk right good and then this place is actually safe from around maybe the 70 something to what to 93 so we have shown you using um, QGIS how to determine the height above flood level using your digital elevation model and then also using this formula that says your height above flood level is equal to the digital elevation model minus the flood level which is what the height the flood gets to maybe whenever it floods right good so it will now give you a result that you can now 
now classify maybe depending on the results you want to present into different classes so we have used four classes and then we have shown you the colors that we have used and then this is the result so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided a solution to this particular JS related problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye